Where is this test subject looking? Small cameras in her glasses register her every eye movement. What packaging does she look at more closely? How important are labeling and prices? Why did you decide for this coffee? Because I like it very much. It's a great mix of um, normal Turkish, traditional Turkish coffee with uh, the, this modern type of coffee. Renata Brandova is a test subject in a Prague supermarket. Market researchers and the manufacturer of the glasses are tracking her gaze. Both men stay discreetly in the background. They want to know if Brandova will choose a specific ketchup from Austria. Today we are testing how, how works those special POS materials, how it helps to the product be more visible and uh, more attractive for customers. The German manufacturer of the glasses is interested in exact data. We're testing something different. We're testing the product to measure all these attention spreads here on the uh, ketchup shelf. And we want to find out if it works natural, if it influences somehow the participant, and uh, if we can see what we need to see, namely the decision-making process. Where customers look reveals how they think, and the information is in high demand. The company that manufactures the glasses is in Telto, south of Berlin. It's already delivered more than 6,000 eye tracking systems. With the aid of tiny cameras, computers can also now be controlled by eye movements instead of a mouse. That requires exact tracking of when someone looks at a particular point. What exactly is the purpose of the metronome in this test? Right now we're performing a final test on synchronicity between the scene camera and the sound to make sure they're precisely coordinated. It's the last test, then the system is packed up and sent to customers. The company doesn't let us look through the glasses. The technical details are a secret. But wearing them can reveal a lot. The company's owner and CEO explains how the device works and how eye and gaze tracking provide more precise and accurate information than surveys can. What happens to the data? We are more of a manufacturer of systems and software. Our customers are the ones who deal with the data. They're typically market researchers and usability advisors. That means they go out and evaluate what test subjects have done in the field to see what conclusions can be drawn. Back to Prague and the question, what do consumers want? The study in the supermarket runs all day. Renata Brandova has arrived at the ketchup aisle and decides to buy a Czech brand. They say it's a high, um, uh, high quality uh, and high quantity of, uh, of uh, tomatoes inside. She hasn't even noticed the Austrian product's new packaging. She's looking for the for the price. She's checking this one now. There. Checking products, labels. Now, what she has noticed is evaluated. More and more uh, clients are coming for this technology, are asking about the advantage of this technology, and it brings bring us in new opportunities. And uh, as I said, we have a lot of clients which are coming to us even from long distant countries. So, so I'm happy for that. Market researchers, supermarkets and food manufacturers all want to know what really catches customers' eyes.